And welcome back at 515 on this Thursday morning. Another cold start to the day. Yes, we're officially less than a week away from Christmas, and we've been talking about not a white Christmas, but still chilly here in the Tennessee Valley. Meteorologist Allison Pryor is here to give us an update on our Friday Eve forecast. Yes, as we're starting for today and each day we get closer and closer to Christmas, those temperatures are going to be on the rise. So it could be cold enough right now for snow, but we don't have any kind of precipitation in the forecast for the day today. In fact, it's just a clear sky. You can see the moon and the stars now. Of course, for the afternoon, we're talking about blue sky and lots of sunshine. Temperatures, though, are very cold to start the day. So 30 degrees currently in Chattanooga. Dalton is our one place that's hanging on to that freezing mark at 32. Everywhere else, we're talking about temperatures in the 20s, 25 currently in Blue Ridge and in Dayton as well. And look at Altamont. If you're in Grundy County, Van Buren County, you're probably really feeling those cold temperatures. 20 right now in Altamont. I want to point out we have that wind from the north at 10 miles per hour. So with that wind combined with these cold temperatures, our wind chill, we have a couple of spots that are in the teens. So 18 degrees is the feels like temperature right now in Cleveland, feeling like 21 here in the city of Chattanooga and 25 in Fort Payne. So if you are heading out really any time in the next couple of hours uh, through sunrise, you're going to really want to bundle up and need that heavier winter coat. Here's a look at our Thursday planner. By 8 a.m., I think we're still going to have our temperatures dropping a couple of degrees in Chattanooga, so 28 degrees at that point. By noon, by lunchtime, we'll start to have a little bit of, I wouldn't say warmth, but warmer, 41 degrees at that point. But again, we'll have that uh, lots of sunshine, so that's going to kind of help counteract those cooler temperatures. 47 at 3 o'clock, and then once again with that clear sky overnight, this evening temperature is going to be dropping quick back down into the mid 30s by nine o'clock tonight. So if you are going to be doing something outside uh, this morning or tonight, you want to bundle up for this afternoon. You can wear probably a coat, but not necessarily a really heavy one. I know some kids are already out of school, so you can head out to ice on the landing, especially this afternoon, and it would be really nice for that. As we move through, I wanted to show you a look at some a different model. I showed you Vipercast uh, in the previous about 15 minutes ago. This model here is going to be a different one that's going to be showing how that rain may be moving into our area over the weekend. So as we get into Friday, you start to see that cloud cover increasing across our area, becoming mostly cloudy by Friday evening. And then we have that low pressure system to the south of us. This particular one is showing that chance of rain that's going to be moving into our area. So I have a 10% on Saturday. That's mainly for our southern counties. But Sunday, we're going to have better chances for some scattered showers. This particular model is really showing that low pressure lifting up, bringing in those rain showers across our entire region. And so that's why I'm putting that upper chance for the day on Sunday. So here's your weekend outlook. If you need to do that last minute shopping, maybe if you're traveling somewhere this weekend, especially traveling in the southeast, you're probably going to be driving through some rain, especially during the day on Sunday. So locally, though, for Saturday, we're looking at cloudy conditions with a spotty shower. And again, that's really going to be for chances south of Chattanooga for that spotty shower. I have it at 10%, 53 degrees for that high. For Sunday, also a high 53 degrees, but I think those showers are going to be wider spread coverage. They're still going to be scattered on and off, but right now I have that chance at 50%. We'll continue to update you. Brittany will have new information at noon. I'll continue to update it throughout this morning as well to see if we see those chances going up or down for Sunday. It's really going to just depend on that track of that low pressure system moving through our area. Today, though, of course, no rain to worry about. 49 degrees for that high. It is a chilly start this morning, but we'll have lots of sunshine. Wind from the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that wind will be decreasing through the day today. And then overnight tonight, we're going to have another night with temperatures in the 20s. So 29 degrees, clear sky. Again, that's going to be cold. Wind will be calm, so that at least is some better news for tomorrow morning. You're not going to have to worry about the wind quite as much. And then for the day on tomorrow, for Friday, 52 degrees. Those clouds are going to be moving in from the west, and that 52 is pretty seasonable for this time of year with those calm winds again. Forecasted highs for the next week ahead. Really, we're going to be very close to normal for through Sunday and then starting to really see those temperatures climbing up Monday. Tuesday, of course, is Christmas Eve, and then Wednesday is Christmas Day. 62 degrees for that high temperature. Our normal is 51, so we're definitely going to be above that across the area. White Christmas is not going to be something that is happening for us. 49 degrees again for the high today, lots of sunshine, and then partly cloudy for Friday with a high of 52. It's almost here. Mm -hmm. And it uh, is. the kids can go out and play this year. <laughs> I know, shorts. they can play. They can play. <laughs> and the kids who are already off of school today, I mean, it's cool temperatures, but you're going to have a sunny day, so you can head outside and 
maybe do a fun winter activity, go to Rock City yeah. or ice on the landing and enjoy today too. It's always such a good time of year to go yeah. to Rock City. The lights are just gorgeous. Yes, they are. So mm -hmm. Hopefully people will take the opportunity to check those out. Allison, thank you.